Well, as we start going into fall, there's a lot of things that change in the garden. And I'm here with Lee Powell at Garland's Nursery, and we're going to be talking about some of the most favorite cool plants and some of the changes they go through as we enter into October and November. Absolutely, and thank you for coming down here, Lee. It is my pleasure. Now, I think that let's start over at this far corner because Iteas are a cool plant, but I think people miss the fall color of them. So the Itea, the sweet spire, Virginia sweet spire, they color up a little later yeah. than some of, the, some of the fall plants. But the nice thing about them is they turn a vibrant red and they hold that color usually through December, January, sometimes even February. So they hold the color for a very long time. And they really do pop, especially if it snows a little bit and you get that color of the leaf. It's really quite amazing. Absolutely. And you know, Hypericums, where St. John's wort, you know, they've been around a long time, but in the last, I don't know, couple, two or three years, they've really done some cool breeding with them. Yeah, and this is the mystical series of St. John's wort. And there are four or five different colors of berries on these. This is the red star in the mystical series. There's an orange berry, there's a white berry, and this is a plant that the floral industry uses a lot because mm -hmm. you can cut it. They hold up for a very long time. The berries look very yeah. nice as a cut flower. So it could be a, a dual purpose plant in your yard. It really can. Now, you know, I, everybody thinks about grapes. We see grape vines and here in the Willamette Valley, they grow a lot now for wines. Yes. But really one of my favorites is this, this one right here. And, and this wasn't bred for the wonderful grape no. fruit <laughs> that it puts off, but for the purple uh, leaves. So it's a purple leaf grape. It's not one that's for eating, but it does get clusters of fruit on it and it gets the, the beautiful burgundy fall color. And I love it that uh, on a, like an arbor when the sun shines through it, it really looks almost like a red stained glass. Quite, it's oh, yeah. delightful, delightful vine. Now let's, you know, anybody who has a garden, generally you see this beautiful flower at this time of year. So the anemone is a really nice fall blooming plant. Um, it does spread a little bit in your yard, yeah. so you have to be willing to do a little pulling of the sprouts next spring. Mm -hmm. But it gives you a very long bloom time with a beautiful sort of daisy-like flower in the fall. There is also a pink variety. Um, there's a double white. This one is Honorine Jobert. It's a French, uh, French hybrid. I didn't know you could speak French. You did that well, quite well. That good, yeah. <laughs> now, grasses, a lot of people do think that, you know, fall is for grasses. Yeah. But they really serve a bigger purpose in that. But a lot of times fall is their glory. It is. And this, this is Hamlin fountain grass. And it gets this sort of bottle brush looking uh, seed head on it this time of year. It turns, it'll turn sort of a buff color mm -hmm. as we get colder but it'll hold up and look nice like yeah. this until probably close to Christmas time. Yeah. I mean, and, and it really gives you a striking, uh, striking form and texture in the garden as well. It really does. And you know, one of my, again, one, I say one of my favorites all the time, Lee, and you know me, they are my favorites, yeah. so, but this one, I adore this plant because of the color that these berries will eventually get to. And this is Profusion Beauty Berry. It's just starting to color up right now. So it's not in its full glory yet, but it'll, it'll, its leaves will turn yellow, the berries will turn a really nice purple color, and it's just a fantastic uh, specimen in your garden. Now we also have Viburnums. Viburnums are such a huge family, but one of our favorites is this one here because of the color. And that's yeah. the double file Viburnum. It's starting to color up. It gets a really nice rusty red color. It's just a fantastic fall color and it combines really well with conifers and grasses in your yard. And you have the bonus of fantastic uh, creamy white flowers in the spring. Well, and you know, the, the fun thing is if you love fall colored plants and you want to think about some things you can do, Judy and I will actually be here today at 11 o'clock. And we are excited to have <laughs> you telling everybody about your favorites here. That is what we're going to do. So if you want to see us, you do have to be a Garden Club member, but you can sign up for that when you come in today and, and come in for the class. So for more information on everything that's happening here, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the website. Be sure and come out and visit with Judy and I, and we'll talk about our favorite fall plants too. Thanks a Thank lot, Lee. Thank you.